Hello everybody, uh, nice to see you again. I haven't done YouTube video for ages, so I'm happy to be back. Uh, today I'm going to um, show you a dialogue between a little boy and his grandma. Okay, so listen carefully to see if there is any vocabulary you didn't know or any expressions or phrases. And after the dialogue, as usual, I will explain all of the complicated language. And also, as usual, if you look under the video uh, in the description, you'll see the transcript of the dialogue and links to maybe some games if I have time to make them, like uh, maybe a Quizlet or some, some other games to practice the vocab. So, uh, have fun listening and we'll, I'll see you after the dialogue. Grandma, look what I've just found! Oh my goodness, a four-leaf clover! Yeah, I learnt about them at school. My teacher told me they bring good luck. Yep, that's what they say. Maybe you should make a wish. Yeah, but I don't know what to wish for. My life is already perfect. Oh, well, there must be something you want that you don't have already. Yeah, well, let me think. Hmm, I wish to have dippy eggs every morning served on a tray in my bed, just as I wake up. <laughs> well, that's a funny wish. Are there not any toys you want that you don't have already? Well, yeah, I suppose I'd quite like to get that new Minecraft Lego that we saw in the shop the other day. That's more like it. Anyway, we need to get going. Look what time it is! Where are we going? Don't you remember? We're supposed to be meeting Annie at 2 at the shopping centre to look for a present for her mum's 60th. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Can we have a look in the toy shop too? Yes, of course. Bring your four-leaf clover with you and you might get lucky and come home with a nice new toy. Cool, thanks Grandma, you're the best. Right, I'd better not forget to take some cash for the car park. Last time I forgot and we got a fine. I can lend you some money from my piggy bank if you want, Grandma. Oh, darling, you're such a lovely little boy. I know, you don't have to keep telling me, Grandma. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the vocabulary and uh, expressions in there. So the first thing, uh, the Grandma said, Oh my goodness! Do you know this one? Oh my goodness? Yeah, it's like, oh my god, but a little bit more polite because some people find, oh my god, is a little bit rude if you are religious, so. Uh, number two, we have the four-leaf clover. I think you know what that is now because you saw it. The, this is the clover, four-leaf clover. And what do the four-leaf clovers do? They bring good luck. So something can bring good luck or something can bring bad luck, like walking under a ladder or opening your umbrella in the house, for example. Um, maybe if you have a story of a, a time where you, you felt you were very lucky, you can write it in the comments under the video and I will share it in another video. That would be cool. Oh, my microphone is falling down. One second. Just need to tighten it up a bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, um, the kid um, wishes for dippy eggs. Have you heard of this before? It's one of the ways you can cook eggs. So dippy eggs is when you cook the egg and just a little bit and you take off the top with a spoon and you can dip a bit, little bits of bread into the egg to eat it. And that is why we call it dippy eggs. So with the verb to dip, meaning to go a little bit into the liquid, into the water, into the egg. <laughs> okay, um, another one. What else did we have? Ah, yeah. 
When the boy says he wants to get some new Lego, the grandma says, that's more like it. So that's more like it is a, an expression that means that sounds better. That's a better idea. I agree with you there. That, that's more like it. Okay. And then she says, we need to get going. So another little uh, sort of uh, expression to get going, which means set off. What does set off mean? Set off and get going mean to leave the house. Let's go. Okay. Um, after that, the grandma says, we are supposed to be meeting Annie at two. Okay. We are supposed to be, which means it is planned that we are going to meet. But after we are supposed to be, the verb is with ing. So we are supposed to be meeting Annie at 2. She didn't say 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. You don't really need to, you can just say 2. And we suppose that it is 2 p.m. Okay. Um, we have another verb with get. Before we had get going and now we have get lucky. It's the grandma again who says, bring your four leaf clover with you and you might get lucky. You can understand that. That's a song, isn't it? By Daft Punk. Get lucky. Get <laughs> lucky. Meaning just to become lucky. Okay. Um, and once again, it is the grandma who says, Right, I'd better not forget to take some cash for the car park. So what is interesting here is the beginning. I'd better not. When I say it fast, you can't really hear the D. It's just, it just sounds like I'd better not. But in fact, it is I'd better not. Do you know what this means? Yeah, it is. Um, in fact, in the apostrophe D, it is I had better not. I don't know why. It's not very logical, but it is a. It is a sort of like a, um, a threat. It can be a threat, meaning, um, for example, you'd better not do that or I'll kill you, you know. <laughs> um, so, but here it's not really a threat. It's the woman saying to herself, I'd better not uh, forget my, uh, what is it? I better not forget to take some cash for the car park. So. You have to be careful with this expression because it sounds very much like another expression which is slightly different in meaning and the other one is you'd be better off and then verb ing. So let's give, let's do two examples. Uh, the first one which is more of a threat, more of a um, sort of angry advice is uh, better the, the one we saw here for example you'd better not eat my cake and that is different to you'd be better off not eating that cake when we say the second one you'd be better off plus verb ing it is not an angry threat it is more some nice advice to help the person Oh, you'd better, you'd be better off uh, eating that cake instead of that one. It would be better for you. Whereas you'd better not is a bit, bit stronger. Okay. All right. Uh, you heard about a piggy bank. What's that? What's a piggy bank? Pig bank. Piggy bank. It is, yeah, it's the little thing where kids put money in a little hole and they stash or they keep their money in their bedroom, hidden away in the piggy bank. Okay, um, a couple more. Um, the mum says, the mum, sorry, the grandma says, oh, you're such a lovely little boy. So 
just uh, think about the the construction of this sentence. You are such a lovely boy. Um, we also say, for example, oh, it's such a lovely day. What it means is the day is so lovely. You are you are a little boy and you are so lovely. You are such a lovely boy. It's such a lovely day. Okay, one more to finish. Um, uh, at the end, the kid says, You don't have to keep telling me, Grandma. So, keep plus verb ing. I think you know what that means. Yeah, it's um, it means that you continue doing something and you don't stop doing it. So, you don't have to keep telling me, Grandma. Meaning, you don't have to carry on or continue telling me again and again and again. I know already. Great. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, so, once again, don't hesitate to look in the description under the video. You can see the transcript. You can do some games to practice the vocabulary and the expressions and if you like these videos that I make uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel so you click on subscribe you can like the video if you want and if you click on the little bell under the video it means you will get notified when I make another video okay so don't hesitate to do that too um, if you have a story about good or bad luck you can write it in the comments that could be really cool and if you do that, maybe I will um, correct it or maybe tell your story in another video. This could be really interesting. And also don't hesitate to comment if you have any other ideas of um, ways I can do the videos. You know, do you prefer dialogues or stories or do you need some specific help with a grammar point? Uh, just let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.